Hello crafty friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm presenting for tailor-made cards for you using the now boarding digital set that's available in the shop. So again, getting me in the mood to travel. So I created four cards. So today I'm going to show you two of them and then post the video on the other two later in the month. So um, look at all these cool ephemera pieces that come with the digital kit. So papers like I'm showing you here. And then there's always just additional pieces and you can trim some of the pieces. The airplane came off of another um, another image, you know, here's my flight attendants, um, you know, just all kinds of uh, different types of pieces and showing different, uh, different levels of travel. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to travel. So here's the first card I did, and again, this is a uh, Parisian-inspired card, the flight on it. The first thing I did was I actually used a piece of um, collage paper from Tim Holtz, Ideology, and attached it onto a piece of colored cardstock. And now I'm using Expresso Archival Ink to stamp the Eiffel Tower here on the left hand side. So again, that you know, the uh, collage paper has a little bit of a um, shine to it. So that's why I use the archival. And now I am working with my flight attendant here and my scan and cut decided that it should cut around her head. Um, so I am going to print that and cut out uh, without that um, without that slice in it. So, but right now we'll go ahead and go with it. Um, attaching the passport right there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use that Stampers Anonymous. It's an, it's an older one from one of my quote sets, um, but I thought it was very appropriate for this particular card. So again, I'm going to use Blue Jeans um, Archival Ink, which is a deep blue color. And um, I was real happy with the way this one turned out. And you know, you really don't need to put that many layers on there to get a, get a good card. So here's one that has lots of layers. So again, I'll kind of walk you through how I created this one. So I used this, um, again, Stampers Anonymous um, Parisian stamp to stamp the labels here on that um, background piece that came as part of the kit. And then here I'm cutting a banner out, and the banner is actually cut from a slimline die, um, you know, and again, I'm only using the lower half of it. And then I have the world die, which is a Sizzix piece I cut from blue cardstock. So I'm kind of taking you through my thought process here as I'm kind of thinking about the card and what I want it to look like. So here I've grabbed my Fiskars trimmer and I'm going to trim that piece of um, paper. It came from a travel, um, travel set. And uh, I'm going to trim it down so that I can take advantage of that red and white or red and blue uh, striped background. So here I am trimming that center piece out to make it make sure it fits within and leaves the border. And so here's the order that that's going to go in. So I'm just going to grab my tape runner and apply my adhesive. I go through these rolls like crazy when I'm working. <laughs> so you can see here I've kind of lined it up more towards the um, to expose that red and red and blue border. And here I am working with that banner piece, which as I said, is just off of a slimline die. So I'm just a portion of it to make my banner. And then I'm grabbing my world. So these are cut out of blue, blue navy cardstock, and I've got two of them that I am gluing together. So right now we're going ahead and work with that glue. adding glue to all these little little pieces here. And as I said, I did put two pieces together, two layers um, to stabilize all of the, um, you know, the um, horizon lines. So here I'll go ahead and attach it on the left hand side and trim off the excess there and I'll save that for another piece. It's going to reappear. So the next thing I'm doing is getting my flight attendant and um, adding some additional ephemera pieces that came with the kit. And I'm going to pop my flight attendant up with some foam tape. 
I love to add dimension on these things. I'm all about dimension and, you know, creating shadows and um, just, you know, more fun, more fun on the cards. So we'll go ahead and pull off the backing and attach her to the um, right side of the world. And then I decided to stick an extra little piece there under her dress because it kind of um, it stuck out a little bit and wasn't, wasn't as layered. So the last thing I'm going to do is create the, um, the sentiment. And this is actually coming out of Life Quotes, which is a, a stamp and die set from Tim Holtz. And again, early one. I've had it for quite a while. But again, I love, uh, love some of the sentiments. So what I'm going to do, you can see the dies laying right there. Um, what I'm going to do is stamp the um, stamp and cut it there from that piece of um, plaid paper, like the chart paper. So again, here I am just trimming the edges off here, and then I'm popping it up on additional pieces of um, cardstock just to give it some dimension. So we'll go ahead and put that together. And the next thing I'm going to do is give you a preview of some of the other cards. So again, here is another card. You can kind of see that world die there. That'll show up here in a couple of weeks. This is the one with the flight attendant that we just completed. And then here's one that I did that also is attached onto a map with, um, again, a flight attendant and an airplane and several layers. That'll be coming up soon. And then here is the Parisian one, which is the first card we did as part of this um, YouTube video. I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed my cards today and would love to have you follow me. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Blogger. Come follow me and subscribe. Have a great day.